the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not boast of preaching the gospel, since it is a duty which has been laid on me. I should be punished if I did not preach it. If I had chosen this work myself, I might have been paid for it. But as I have not, it is a responsibility which has been put into my hands. Do you know what my reward is? It is this, in my preaching, to be able to offer the good news free and not insist on the rights which the gospel gives me. So though I am not a slave of any man, I have made myself the slave of everyone, so as to win as many as I could. For the weak, I made myself weak. I made myself all things to all men, in order to save some at any cost. And I still do this for the sake of the gospel, to have a share in its blessings. The Word of the Lord Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim Him, all you peoples. Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news. Strong is His love for us. He is faithful forever. Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news. Alleluia! Alleluia! Go, make disciples of all the nations. I'm with you always, yes, to the end of time. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus showed himself to eleven, and he said to them, Go out to the whole world. Proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven. There at the right hand of God, he took his place, while they, going out, preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine if you could be roommates with a saint. Which saint would you choose? Or rather, which saint do you think God will give you as your roommate? For St. Francis Xavier, he had St. Ignatius of Loyola as his roommate when they were studying. And you can imagine these two saints in their rooms. Um, What were they doing? Um, What were they chatting about? I think you can imagine... Um, that they were sharing their dreams, their conversion stories, perhaps, um, and how they intend to bring this fire that's within them um, to others, while at the same time studying. And St. Francis Xavier was one of the first companions of St. Ignatius, and that together they, they, they started the Jesuit order. And today we celebrate this wonderful man, St. Francis Xavier, and Singapore, we have his 
we have a parish that um, is uh, dedicated to him. We, our local seminary, uh, he is the patron of our local seminary. And so we can see that St. Francis Xavier is quite important for our Singaporeans. And also in Malaysia, uh, because he is the patron of missions together with St. Therese Lisieux. And in fact, St. Francis Xavier did come to this part of the world. If I'm not mistaken, when he came to Malacca, he did stay with our friars on Bukit China. We have a very old friary on Bukit China, and we actually um, housed St. Francis Xavier at that time. And this was the heart of the early missionaries, to go forth. Uh, but we have to remember that this going forth actually has got that beginnings in conversations like St. Ignatius uh, and St. Francis Xavier had, that their hearts were inflamed and to want to bring the same fire of the good news to people. And this is what we Franciscans, um, we see about evangelization. It's not so much of we bringing the good news to another. Sometimes in this desire to bring the good news to another, because our hearts are so open to bring the good news to another, our hearts are also open to receive the good news from the other that we are mutually evangelized. Euangelion, where we get the word evangelize, means good message or good news. And we allow this good news to come forth from us, but to also to receive as well. They were both filled at the same time by the Holy Spirit. And it's because of this that St. Francis Xavier felt this call to go and preach the good news, especially in the Far East, and that's where we are. Um, I think some of us might envy St. Francis Xavier and his travels. He was in India, uh, he was in Japan, uh, landing in Kagoshima um, in Nagasaki, and um, certainly came to uh, Malaysia, the Malaya Peninsula, and wanting to go into China, and that's when he actually died uh, of a fever before he actually officially entered into China. Um, and we love to travel. But for St. Francis Xavier, he traveled because he desired to bring the good news to all and to make everyone sons and daughters of God. So where is the Lord leading you in this season of your life? Are you having this conversation that fires up your soul at the moment? Is this the stage where you're at? Where you find that you and a good friend or someone in your ministry or from church or a group of people coming together and you find that as you are talking about God, you're, you're, the fire within you is really burning and, and creating this zeal within you. Or maybe you're at this season of your life when you're called to go forth after being fired up. And where is the Lord leading you? Which unknown territory is the Lord guiding you to and entrusting you to? So perhaps on this feast, let us see where we're at in this season of our life, especially in our journey with God. And how is the Lord leading you, guiding you, and entrusting you to a particular mission? And with confidence, we now pray in our words, our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labour well in your harvest, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.